Hello everyone, Jared here along with my wife Lindsay and today we are in Frankenmuth, Michigan visiting Bronner's, the world's largest Christmas store. Now this is a humongous store dedicated mostly to Christmas decorations and holiday decorations and we're going to go in and we're going to take a good look around today. Before you even get into the store, the parking lot is filled full of all kinds of really cool light displays and decorations and they even have a real life replica of a chapel that was originally in Austria. According to the sign outside, this chapel is intended as a memorial and not for any services. It's a really nice looking. It's been about three years since we've been here and I'm really excited to go in, so let's go check it out. This would really be a neat way to decorate for Christmas. I love this tree. Oh my goodness, look at that pumpkin. That's pretty unique. Well, I know we're here trying to look at Christmas decorations, but look at these fall ones. Oh yeah, especially that little gnome. Oh my goodness. I wonder if his hat lights up. It looks like it should. So we've been decorating our house up for the holidays as Grinch, and uh, so we're hoping to score some stuff like that today. Now these aren't specifically Grinch, but they kind of would pass for it, don't you think? Yeah. How much is it? Um, it's $59.99. Oh my, but it lights up. Yep, it does light up. And it's like cool and stuff. When you come in here, looking at all the Christmas and holiday decorations is one thing, but if you take some time to look up, they have some really great displays overhead. Especially like these ones here, or when they create something that looks like the top story of a house or a building like that. We were able to find a little bit of Grinch stuff right here. We got some plushies. These two are 18, and then of course we got the big guy himself, 23. But I think we're actually gonna buy these. They look like little marshmallows. <laughs> They're only five dollars. It's not bad. Lindsay is a big Thomas Kincaid fan, especially of his Disney work. She loves collecting these puzzles. And I got a few specific winter ones. I think she's gonna purchase one. <laughs> <laughs> Birches both of them, and that's what they look like put together. When I was a kid, my mom was really into Precious Moment. Look at these, man. All these Disney ones. What a cute find. They're not too expensive either, only $36. Granted, these ones are a little bit bigger, but I'm surprised these are more expensive than the licensed Disney ones. These ones are anywhere from 45 to 65 dollars and then of course obviously like the really big ones like that that one's 175. So a lot of really nice figurines over here. We have some Harry Potter, some more precious moments and then up here there's just some Disney showcase ones. They look really good. Some pretty good detail. Now here's the display that feels very fitting for Frankenmuth. A bunch of steins. This one's really cute. I believe it's just a little shot glass, but I like the stein top on it. This one feels especially fitting for both Bronner's and Frankenmuth. $225. I'm not well versed in how much normal steins cost, so I have no idea if that's a deal or a little bit high or right on the nose. That is a really pretty large tree. That's pretty clever. It's right on top of one of the displays. I like that. I like how they do that. It just makes shopping here that much more interesting when you can also look up and see cute stuff like that. I'd say the ornament section here in Bronner's is by and far the largest section in the store. It takes up so much real estate. They have all kinds of really unique, cool Christmas bombs. These little marshmallow ones are always my favorites. Well, I like this section. Oh my gosh, what's that? It's a little jellyfish. Oh, so cute. You literally could spend hours going through all these ornaments. There's so many. I don't even know how to possibly convey that. <laughs> you know I mean? And they pretty much yeah. anything that you can think of. There's an ornament somewhere in the store. 
So there is a ornament personalization service that Bronner's offers. You see quite a few people lined up. I do believe they were announcing that it should take 10 minutes or less to do it. But we still haven't made it through all the ornaments. It just keeps going and going and going. And we have arrived at the Christmas tree section of the store. They have a pretty decent selection of Christmas trees. It's not as large as the ornament section, but well, they do have quite a few. But they do have some incredibly decorated up display trees, like this Nightmare Before Christmas one. And we got some Harry Potter over here. That would be really cool if they sold these, but can you imagine how expensive it would be buying one of these fully decorated trees? I guess it's been quite a while since I've purchased a Christmas tree, but these are, they seem pricey. It's a seven footer pre-lip for 680. I guess I don't know what the going rate of a Christmas tree is. A, like I said, a bit expensive, but the quality of them actually seems pretty good. I, I like the way that feels. I think so. I mean, but again, it's a little bit more expensive, but <laughs> that's true. And I mean, to be fair, our current Christmas tree has lasted us the last 20 years. <laughs> we have a few pre-lit miniature trees as well. Give you an idea of the prices of these. This one's like 250, 235. So they're around two, three hundred dollars from what I've seen. So this specifically is the type of thing that we were looking for. We wanted to get one of these little bent Grinch trees. We were hoping they had them, and they do. But it's four hundred dollars. I just don't think I'm going to spend that on a. <laughs> Christmas tree. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make one. They have a few tree toppers over here by the trees. Oh, that one looks like a like a fairy garden mushroom. Got some other ones over here. I like these ones. Oh, I like the owl. Aww. How much is that guy? Twenty bucks. That's not bad at all. Well, this is a little bit surprising, though. The light section is very small. Like they have hardly any lights. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> like that. That's all there is for like the traditional string lights. Right. Well, compared to the ornaments. Yeah. They've, <laughs> they've got nice colors. You know, I really like the orange, but yeah. there's just not very many. And the, the strings that they do have, they're not very long. This is like a 35 light string for $17. So, you know, that's a little bit curious. I don't know why they, you would think they would sell a lot more yeah. lights considering. I mean, they do have some unique lights. Sure. But yeah, you're right. There's just not, not a ton of them. They do have some of these cute light up displays. Or... Oh yeah, I like those a lot. Yeah. These ones are, they're not priced too bad either. Like this guy's only $12. Oh, that's not bad at all. And this one, this one was really cool. I like that one. Pretty cute. Yeah, little reindeers. I really like how they've chosen to display their light strands though. Look at this. That looks really cool. So we've reached the licensed character ornament section. They have some pretty cool stuff here. Got some Mario, some other Nintendo properties. We also have some Rankin and Bass ornaments. Peanuts characters, television show related ornaments, or rather characters from those shows. And of course they've got all kinds of Disney ornaments including this very cute little Winnie the Pooh. I think the biggest thing that has surprised me on this trip is just the sheer amount of Disney ask stuff that you can buy from Bronner's. Yeah, it, I, I remember it being here before, but not this much. 
aside from being the largest Christmas store, it would just be one of the largest stores in the world, it would seem, anyhow. Because it is absolutely huge in here. Well, we didn't get a whole lot today. We didn't find quite what we were looking for, but we did get a couple little Grinch ornaments go on our tree and of course we did purchase those little marshmallow looking yeah. Max and Grinch that was super cute they're just there's so much in there it kind of overwhelms you it, yeah a little bit yeah for sure well hopefully you enjoyed our little stroll through Bronner's gives you an idea what the store looks like if you're ever planning on coming out here it is absolutely huge and uh, we were here for a couple hours walking around looking at stuff and we've been here not a ton, but a few times over the years, and it's been a while since we've been in, so it was a fun day to come out here and get some stuff, so thanks for watching. Most of these you can't see all that well during the day, so I came back out here now that it's a little bit darker to take a look. Look at that jingle bell. That is bright.